Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, on the 17th of October, my beautiful giant spiny assassin bug, freshly malted, and this is an adult, and it's around about the inch and a half in body length. So, this is fully sized, so this is an actual adult. So, I'm going to give it a feed today. It's been over two weeks since it malted, so it should be okay. I actually have one of those um, Panchinoda grubs, which you can just see here. So hopefully it will take it down. So here goes. It's been a while since it actually malted, so I'll be surprised if it's not hungry. So it looks like it is definitely interested. So let's just move it over to here. So guys, let's try again. And as you can see, the assassin bug keeps moving around a lot. So it is a little bit difficult to keep it in shot log. So um, all you can do is just keep on trying to feed it, guys. Um, this is actually my last Panchinoda grub. Um, I don't let them pupate into some beetles. I just use them as feeders. They're fairly cheap at the shows. They're only about £2 for the box, which is very, very cheap. Um, usually in pet shops you're talking five or six pound a box so yeah as you can see it keeps moving around I keep trying to feed it but no it's just not really interested unfortunately so I'll give it another couple of days guys and um, I'll try and feed it again so I'll uh, put the Panchinoda grub back into its tub and then put the assassin bug back in its enclosure So guys, back inside its enclosure, and it always seems to go beyond this piece of cork bark here. And as you can see, it's malted okay. Its legs are there, and it's it's rostrum. That rostrum is that needle that's the front of its face there. Look, that's what it uses to attack its prey and paralyze it. So yeah, they're a semi-arboreal species. So I use a little hide there as well, and I use a piece of cork bark upright so it can do its own thing so i've sprayed the enclosure uh filled up the water dish as well so i'll give it another couple of days and i'll try it again i am getting a little bit worried about it as you know guys i lost two of my scorpions yesterday and you know i don't want to lose another animal in my collection but that is part of the hobby you know uh, animals don't live forever you can give them the best life you can actually can and do all your research but the sad part is they do pass away. So, yeah, like I said, I'll leave it for another couple of days, guys. And I'll give it a feed. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks for watching, everyone.